There are four months to go until Guy Martin and his team try to break a speed record that hasn't been risked for 27 years, cycling at more than 110 miles per hour. Despite the inherent dangers, he plans to ride behind a racing lorry to shield himself from the resistance of the air. But after minimal aerodynamic benefit was found during testing, Dr. Jason Hill, an engineering troubleshooter more used to working on the next generation of military aircraft, has been called in to try and make the crucial slipstream work. It's a fantastic thing to be involved with, but the perils of doing it are, are enormous. We built a computational fluid dynamics model which simulates the way the fluid flows around and over the truck, and I think it took between two and three days for the calculations to finish running, and then we were able to make some design decisions off the back of that data. So right. What's the plan? Right then, we've had a look at a number of options. Right. If we start with your standard truck and you tried to follow it with your bike. Yeah, that wasn't, Just, a, lot, that wasn't a lot of jelly, was it? If we have a look at what the air was doing behind the truck, what you can see, what we're plotting here is called a, an isosurface. So within that blob, all of the air is actually going forwards. Right. Okay? But it's all over the chassis. So we needed to do something that was going to bring that whole structure back to behind the truck where you could be with your bike. Mm -hmm. So the first idea that we looked at for you was the idea of just extending the cab back and filling in the sides, filling in the top, mm -hmm. just turning it into a box wagon, essentially. So if we take that geometry and push that forwards at uh, 120 mile an hour, then what we see is we get a much nicer environment for you to ride in, right. OK? Yes. We've got this lovely big bubble of area where the air is actually flowing forwards and, and supporting so you. So that's where I want to be in there. You need to be in there. Oh, what's happening with these fellas here? Yeah, well, with, with wakes, it's not a steady process. Turbulence is, by its nature, chaotic and unsteady, and so what happens is that thing will all be jiggling around, mm -hmm. and periodically bits of it will just come loose and separate and then dissipate away as it goes downstream. The next one that we looked at was what we call the, the shed canopy. So what we did is we extended the back of the canopy to create uh, almost a little, a little shed area for right. you to, to ride in. So I would be right inside. This is the challenge with this. Aerodynamically, it's fantastic, but there were some concerns that if there was a problem with the truck, and the truck had a blowout and started swaying side to side, in... you're in deep trouble. So yes, yeah. although this is probably the best concept, it was ruled out for reasons other than aerodynamics. Oh, no, fair enough. We'll see where they're coming from. Yeah. The fourth concept that we considered, which is the one that we've, we've ended up going with, is we take the basic truck and we put a bluff screen at the back of the truck. With this idea, the idea is that the air gets disrupted by the cab, drops back into the chassis as it would normally do, mm -hmm. but then has to come out vertically and sideways. So you get a much bigger wake, Ooh, the size car, yeah. of the envelope that you've got to work in. It's probably four times the volume yeah. of what you've had. This is what the, the wake actually looks like. That's pretty fascinating. All this flapping is just where the, the, the turbulence is dying down and dissipating away. Oh, and no. then this is, this is a top view. So if you have a look at the area where you're going to be. This is where be, I'm going to be, in, in that there. bit there. And as you can see, even with the relatively simple structure that we're suggesting, that remains very large and pretty stable. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's where, <laughs> I, uh, that's where I intend to put you. Fair play, I'm all for it. <laughs> OK. I think this is the only time I left school, how many years ago, 10? 14 years ago, I think it's, about, it's the only time where I've ever thought, right, I should have tried harder at science. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it built and see if you can break the record. That's the plan. Yeah.